Watching the world burn, watching the world burn, September 28th, 2023. Let's get into it. So the first story, I, I just want to get right to the, the meat of this video. And uh, we've got redacted. And I'm going to go back to a previous video where they talked about how Russia was beaming, well, Ukraine surrender, or if you want to call it Radio Free Russia, into Ukraine, telling the uh, Ukrainian soldiers to surrender and that they would be treated, treated well uh, on certain frequencies and how to do it. So let's, uh, let's just get to that video by Redacted. Uh, that's their channel, not mine. I'm sure that they just, I just want to promote them. Redacted is a great channel. They're much better than I am. Let's check it out. Let's talk about what's happening in Ukraine and something big is about to happen in Ukraine as Russia seems ready to pull off the gloves. Now, according to multiple reports in the northern part of the country in Ukraine, Russia is gearing up for a massive offensive. But before they do that, they're rolling out a brand new ad campaign. This is a Russian ad campaign giving Ukrainians one last chance, one last chance to save their lives before the full-scale invasion happens. They're hoping that people will share this all over Telegram, all over Twitter, all over social media channels, so that young men who have been like hiding from these conscription officers who's coming around and rounding them up and throwing them into the meat grinder will see these videos and they'll say, we will surrender. We are not gonna be a part of this. I'm not gonna go off to die. So this is a Russian ad campaign. Um, do you wanna send your boys off to die in a meat grinder? Or do you wanna end this peacefully and surrender? Russia says, surrender to us now and you will live. Otherwise, you are about to die. Watch. Oswin, to your counter-nastup. Do you think that you have a lot of chance to save your life? But you don't want to go out of the country in the evening and the evening. Mommy, it wasn't enough money to give you a chance. А батькові не допомогли старі зв'язки. Ти намагався сховатися, але їм треба м'ясо. Бо леопарди їм жаль. І своїх дітей їм жаль. А тебе – ні. Тепер у тебе лише один – останній шанс зберегти життя. All right, so that was the first video. That was a while back. I, I've been saving this one because I was kept thinking, someday I want to make a video about this. Uh, as to that, you know, and back then they were, Ukrainians were surrendering by the hundreds. Uh, it, 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 you know, it wasn't that big a deal. In any war, there's, there's troops that surrender. And every now and then you have a big battle where thousands of troops surrender. Now... Now, <laughs> the redacted just came out with a video today saying that tens of thousands of Ukrainians are surrendering. Let's watch those clips now. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bust it up. I can't, like, steal their whole video because that would be, I, well, it's just wrong. You know, I, I got to work this into my own context. But I was just shocked to see that how many, and, and I hadn't heard this on any other channel. I mean, I watch... Uh, uh, a lot of channels on YouTube, and I watch, uh, well, of course, I have to watch the doggone mate legacy media and all the stupid stuff. There's been nothing about this on any other channel but redacted. Let's watch that now. Ukraine is surrendering. I mean, that is the word. Tens of thousands of Ukrainian soldiers are laying down their weapons and surrendering to Russian troops. This is amazing, right? This is a story the Western media does not want you to see. Over the past few weeks, we've been tracking countless reports of Ukrainian men surrendering before uh, they are to be killed. So you're going to see, like, take a look at your screen here. So these are night vision uh, scenes in Ukraine, night vision capturing many of the moments as Russian forces surround these targets. There they are in the brush. You can see them coming out of the brush and they're making announcements. Come out, 
live or you will be killed. Thankfully, these men are coming out and they are surrendering. Just look at the screen. They're waving the white. Anything you have white that you can wave in your hands right now, please do it. And we will make sure that you are safe. You are taken care of. How many of you are there? Tell us how many of you there are. Don't lie to us. Come out, lay down your weapons, and you will not be hurt. You will not be killed. Now, we have brought you reports that Russia has been dropping pamphlets to tell them exactly how to surrender so that they don't get hurt. We also know that from NATO reports, from leaked documents, that if they surrender as a unit, they cannot be prosecuted for desertion. So they that's why we see them coached with almost identical language as they get in a room. They say, we are all together. They explain that we are command that has been left without weapons, without any training, and we're stranded here and we surrender. There's a formula to this and we've seen it over and over again. You wouldn't see it if you're only watching CNN, but we've shown it to you. Although the Western media is not going to show you this story. I guarantee you, you're not going to see this story on the front pages of the BBC tomorrow, CNN, the New York York Times, or other places. You're not going to see reports of the thousands who have been laying down their weapons over the past few days. And here is uh, Rabatino um, and another surrender that's uh, happening. You can see them coming out of the brush, nighttime, night vision goggles again. I mean, they literally could be mowed down at a second's notice and they're being given refuge drop your weapons lay down your western weapons lay down on your face make sure that you're not having any grenades and tell us where you're coming from is there anyone else left in your you know in your troop if there is call them out and we will check you to make sure that there's no other explosives on you and then you will be given shelter you will be given food and you will be given medical attention but here are some of the five points that were published in Jacques Baud the NATO specialist's book he says here are the ways that you surrender safely this is what Russia is telling Ukraine abandon your position and leave the combat zone isolate nationalist and SBU I guess snitches for lack of a better word record a video message to your command say that you've been abandoned by your commanders and it says be careful not to cross paths with nationalists whose task is to prevent you from surrendering or backing down by executing you well we've seen we've shown you videos here on the show and we've been demonetized for showing it but where you have the nationalists you have Azov leaders um, basically shooting and executing ukrainian soldiers who say that they don't want to fight anymore so they're being shot and we'll just go through this article more detail here on exactly the numbers here. Uh, saying, and this is a, the Gateway Pundit, better call Volga, 10,000 Ukrainian soldiers um, surrendering as a result of this Volga radio frequency. 10,000 Ukrainian soldiers have surrendered to the Russians using a special 1.49.200 Volga radio frequency, which has been operating since mid-summer. So this is a radio frequency, and it's been you can see it here spray painted on walls all over the place, inside of buildings. Surrender. Use this radio frequency only if you plan to surrender. Let us know your position, and then you will be taken into custody. You will be provided with all necessary medical care, and you will be fed and given food. And of course, this is all coming right now as winter is setting in and getting very, very close to Uh, inclement weather arriving within the next 30 days and so we know what's coming these poor men who have been dragged into nato's war sitting in trenches freezing to death with no food group of, of soldiers who use the volga frequency they dialed in and said okay we're done we're done. We surrender. And then, of course, you can hear the Russian, Russian soldiers asking, you know, how many of you are there? Where are you? Get down on the ground and you will live. Here, watch. You know, asking, what is your what is your unit number? Who are you? Be honest. Tell us who you are. So come out, come out, put your heads down, hands up, drop your weapons, drop your Western weapons, your U.S. weapons, lay down. The amount of images we've seen over the past few days of all these weapons, these Western weapons, is amazing. Yeah, where are you from? What Western weapons are being used in this? Think about it. Your American tax dollars piling up 
piling up. Um, you know, it, here here are just a few of the captured weapons over the past twenty four hours. So you can just see Amer- you know, Western weapons lined up there, ready to go after full stocks of ammo and everything else that uh, won't be used to kill people. But it's your American tax dollars hard at work, right there captured. Uh, so you want to send more armored vehicles? You want to send more you know, Abrams tanks? As Russia has said, you want to send more of these Leopard tanks, Abrams tanks. The moment they arrive, they will be destroyed. So American tax dollars, you want to send it? We'll, we'll destroy it. These men can survive if they come out and lay down their weapons and end this craziness and stop being thrown into the meat grinder. Um, and surrendering these forces, of course, providing vital details to the Russian army, by the way. So as these men have been captured, they've been telling where their positions are. Here's just one example. A Ukrainian officer uh, who voluntarily surrendered yesterday gave Russian military secret information about spotters of the U- uh, Ukraine armed forces and asked specifically where they are. He's then given food because he hasn't had food. So here he is telling where they've been located. Captain. <laughs> Oh. 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 Показывай, куда. Папка, на рабочем столе она единственная. Вот это? Документы, так точно. Дальше. Здесь в хранилище документов. Назад в хранилище документов. Здесь надо, где основные, нажать, чтобы от упражнений здесь все папки, в том числе и скрытые. Нажимайте основные. Да? Так точно, да, нажимайте. Дальше. Все. So if you listen to the audio version of this podcast, he's, he's looking at a folder with his, ar- his unit's positions and the 10th Army Corps position containing all of its commanding officers' positions and data on it that he provided upon his surrender, all of the positions, the position, the type of activity they're carrying out. All right, so I kind of busted that up into a series of clips about what Redacted was saying about all of the uh, men. And, of course, you, you got to see the video of the Ukraine uh, soldier that uh, was just sitting there saying, hey, you know, here's my cell phone. Uh, you know, do what you want with it. You know, it took him two days. Can you imagine? Oh, my God, under those conditions. And now the rainy season's coming. Uh, and, by the way, I, I just wanted to uh, point out, if there's a bat- battalions of Russians uh, that they've been working on for the counteroffensive to the counteroffensive, and they are just about ready to go. Uh, you you have to understand that in war it takes a lot of time to to get you know all of the armor, all of the logistics, all of the men trained, you know all of the the the, the weapons uh, uh, into place. Uh, it's it's a huge huge thing. And this war has been going on, well, I guess February 22nd, 2022. Here we are, September 28th, 2023. So you can look at the Russians have been working on their offensive. And it looks to me like they're going to march right into Odessa and, and basically into Kiev. And they've got everything ready. I mean, everything's ready. Uh, and so, you know what, Let's before I, I, I get into this, let's, let's, let's just... Take a step back and let's watch Colonel Douglas McGregor, uh, some of his uh, commentary on on why the Ukrainians are surrendering and why this war is basically over. And I've been telling you, I thought it would be over by now. I, I admit, I, I don't remember what my predict. I said August, I think. And uh, here, well, maybe August. Yeah, I think I said August. Here we are, September. We're coming into October and we're coming into the rainy season. Who knows? I mean, it could go on a few more months, but uh, it seems to me, I, and I don't see how the Russians are going to advance through the mud, but we'll see. Let's watch Colonel Douglas McGregor. I would argue that the Ukrainian phase of the war is really over. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean that the Ukrainians have been bled white. They've lost over 400,000 men killed. Some people think as much as 450,000. I don't know. 
Uh, Putin, in his speech, talked about 71,000 potentially dead uh, Ukrainian troops as a result of the last offensive. I Again, I don't know. But any way you slice it, they're losing soldiers at a rate that is about the same as uh, the Allies lost troops in World War I on the Western Front. Mm. So remember, we, we fought for 110 days in the First World War, and we had 318,000 casualties. Of that number, 110,000 Americans died. So you could say that every day, every day that we fought a battle in 1918 on the Western Front, we lost 1,000 men. That's the kind of loss that the Ukrainians are experiencing. Now, what does this mean? What it means is that we're into what I would call now the Biden phase of the Ukrainian war. What's the Biden phase? Well, it's the phase where the Ukrainians don't really have any troops to throw at the enemy. So now we're giving them long range strike systems, uh, 300 kilometer range missiles or 500 kilometer range missiles, 300 miles, 200 miles, 150 miles. And they're lobbing these things at the Russians, primarily in Crimea. So we just saw a major attack involving 11 Storm Shadow cruise missiles. Three got through, the other eight were shot down. Uh, those three did damage to the dry docks and harbor in Sevastopol. All right, so there you go, there you go, there you go. So. We'll get into some other quick news. Uh, I'm just going to go down these uh, really, really quick. Um, the uh, Americans are having incredible difficulty paying their bills with the uh, inflation that the Democrats uh, have, have put in. Uh, the, the legacy time, well, I, I, I'll just tell you what I've noticed. Uh, so I go up online and I pay my credit card bills uh, well, probably about every other day, because I keep worrying about if there's a bank shutdown and you have a balance on your credit card, what are they going to do? They're going to hit you with a late payment, even though you can't log in to pay the damn bill. So I always pay them as, as I go, because, but and the only reason I use credit cards is I get 2% cash back. Today, I cashed out for $100. Well, that's $100 in my pocket that I wouldn't have had without using the credit card. So that's the only reason that I use it. So yeah, I, 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 and what I'm telling you, I'm seeing the legacy times as far as getting these payments paid and how long the credit card companies wait to post the transaction, they're getting longer and longer. And, and, and I seem to be experiencing technical difficulties as far as paying these bills. I don't know if you watched uh, Philadelphia. <laughs> oh my God. The Democrat cities are on fire. Uh, there's, the Democrat cities are hell holes. And check this out. Oh my God. I don't know where this is going to go. I hope it doesn't put me in the mainstream because I consider myself, I am the underground. I am the underground. But today, oh my God, I, 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 I just put a reply to Elon Musk and I said, laughing out loud, LOL. However, they know that in Democrat communities, there is no law enforcement by design. Uh, let chaos reign supreme until America begs for more government. He reposted this reply. <laughs> oh, my God. I mean, what does Elon Musk have, like, 2.5 million? I don't even know how many followers he has. I hope that doesn't put me on the big time. Right, if I'm in a different position, I had technical difficulties. So now we got Britain throwing journalists in jail for uh, reporting on the Nazi that uh, was in the Canadian uh, parliament that they applauded with the unanimous ovation. I'm sure you've heard about all that if you follow the news at all. It was something else. Um, by the way, and it, there's a video right now on Russia-Ukraine updates on Rumble that talks about... I was going to put this on this video, but it would get too long. And they were talking about the thousands and thousands of Ukrainians that were taken in. Ukrainian nationalists, uh, not... Well, N-A-Z-I's. I, I just want to spell that out so I don't get taken off of YouTube. Uh, that were taken in by Canada and Britain after the war. And uh, it's, it's a very uh, educational, very uh, help you understand World War II. And of course, uh, well, I mean, you know, what the hell? Why are we continuing to send money to Ukraine at this point when they're surrendering by the thousands? And, you know, we got homeless, open borders, and everything in the United States is going to hell in a handbasket. So anyway, uh, and, and then of course, uh, 
there's the buried COVID stuff that you never hear about, and you can't hear about it on these channels. And uh, ah, another huge uh, thing that's taking place is China, South Korea, and Japan are meeting for a summit. What the hell's that all about? Why are why is South Korea and Japan meeting with China? Hmm, something you might want to think about as a you know U.S. citizen. And then the last thing is the United States has pissed off India. Uh, there was a guy that got killed in Canada. Uh, you can follow the news on other channels. And uh, he was um, supposedly killed by India. And, and, and Canada put this out in a huge thing. And so now I, India is really pissed off at Canada. Uh, anyways, he was the center. There you go. Peace out. Stay free. Good, good, good to live in the free state of Florida. You can run on for a long time, run on for a long time, run on for a long time. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Sooner or later, God's gonna cut you down. Go tell that globalist liar, that Democrat idiot writer, that rhino rambler. That nuclear war gambler, that backbiting U.S. politician, sooner or later God's gonna cut you down. Sooner or later God's gonna cut you down.